Hey what's up guys? Today I'll show you a thriller film titled, Flu. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins in Hong Kong, where there are illegal immigrants in a tight shipping container, which is about to be smuggled toward South Korea. As the shipping container is about to leave, a man is coughing and seems to be sick. However, the operating worker disregards the sick man, and lets the shipping container leave. Meanwhile in Bundong, South Korea, there is a beautiful woman in a car about to fall into a deep hole. The beautiful woman is a doctor named in and her rescuer is ji -gu. As the car is about to fall, ji -gu needs to remove in from the car to save her life. However, as in is being removed from the car, her skirt rips off, exposing her legs, which makes her refuse to be rescued. To convince in to be rescued, ji -gu lends his shirt to cover her legs. Then, as in is covering her legs with the shirt, Jigu observes the car is about to fall, which makes him immediately remove Inhe from the car before it falls. In the end, the rescue operation is successful. Later that day Inhe meets Jigu in the deep hole where the car falls. She returns Jigu's shirt and asks a favor to get the bag back in the fallen car, since it is pretty important. But Jigu refuses to do as requested by Inhe, and explains that his job does not include rescuing personal things. Meanwhile, the shipping container carrying illegal immigrants is already at Bundong, and the smugglers, Byung Ki and his brother Byung Woo, go there to pick up the illegal immigrants. As they open the shipping container, the filthy fluid and smell go out. They point the flashlight inside the shipping container, revealing the dead bodies of the illegal immigrants. Shortly after, Byung Woo takes footage of the dead bodies to show it to their boss. Suddenly there is a survivor, named Masai, who crawls towards them, asking for help. Masai proceeds to tell the smugglers everyone in the shipping container is dead. After that day, the smugglers bring Masai to a rest area, where there are a lot of people. As Byung Ki goes to buy something, a police car parks beside their vehicle. So Byung Ki immediately rushes towards their vehicle, and tells Byung Woo to leave. However, Byung Woo seems to be severely sick. At the same time, Masai gets out of the vehicle and runs away. Byung Ki, seeing Masai run away, tries to chase him, but Masai successfully escapes. Later, the smugglers head towards a pharmacy to buy medicine, since Byung Woo's sickness worsens. As Byung Woo is buying medicine, he continues to cough, spreading the virus to anyone in the pharmacy. In the next scene, In Hae is in a conference with the doctors. She informs Dr. Yang, a senior doctor, that the research is left in the fallen car in the deep hole. The teacher, named Jung, reprimands In Hae for losing the research. Meanwhile, Jigu goes into the deep hole, where the car falls to get In Hae's bag with the help of his friend Kyung Yubi. In the end, Jigu successfully gets In Hae's bag from the deep hole. Later, as Kyung Yubi checks the thing inside In Hae's bag, he sees a phone. Miru, the child of In Hae, is on the phone. Jigu grabs the phone and answers the call, talking to Miru. After that, Jigu meets Miru in, in the park. There, Jigu introduces himself as a rescuer to Miru. To enlighten Miru about his job, Jigu explains to her that rescuers go to save a life of people in danger for free, in contrast to the doctors who get paid for saving lives in the hospital. After knowing Jigu, Miru asks for the bag of her mother, and leaves. Meanwhile, the virus from the shipping container is rapidly spreading in the city. In transportation and school, an infected person coughs and exposes everyone to the virus. At the same time, Byung Woo's sickness seems to worsen as he coughs with blood and he immediately brings Byung Ki to the hospital. After that in receives a call from the hospital, in happily says she already got the research from the bag. However, the hospital staff stops her, and immediately tells her that there is an emergency situation in the hospital. Then in immediately rushes towards the hospital. Shortly after in the hospital, the doctors are having an operation on Byung Woo. Then in arrives at the operating room, checking the condition of Byung Woo. Upon checking the condition of Byung Woo, In Hae sees the things of Byung Woo in a plastic bag. In the plastic bag, In Hae finds a phone, where she sees the footage of the shipping container with dead bodies. After that, In Hae shows the footage to her fellow doctors. Dr. Yang concludes that the virus came from the dead bodies of the shipping container. As a response, In Hae tells Dr. Yang the virus that infected Byung Woo is a possible first avian flu in South Korea, and to confirm that, they need to find the shipping container to have a test. Meanwhile, while wandering alone, Miru encounters Masai, who is infected by the virus from the shipping container. Masai tells Miru to go away, since the virus can be transmitted to her. However, Miru keeps following Masai to give him food. Then, Miru tells Masai to stay put and wait as she asks for help. Shortly after, Miru, together with Jigu, returns, but Masai is not there. 
At the same time, the doctors and the congressman are having a meeting regarding the virus. In the meeting, Dr. Yang tells them that the virus from the shipping container is a possible mutated avian flu and a harbinger of a pandemic. So Dr. Yang suggested to lock down Bundong. The congressman seems not to believe Dr. Yang, and as a response, the politician mocks and laughs at the suggestion. As Dr. Yang and the congressman argue with each other, the virus keeps spreading, and the hospitals are getting filled by infected people. Also, infected people keep falling to the ground, and as a result, Bundong is in a big chaos. The doctors and the congressman in the meeting witness the chaos as they look outside through the window. This makes them decide to leave Bundong. As the doctors and politicians are about to leave through the helicopters, Inhei tells the doctor she needs to stay to get her daughter first. Then Dr. Yang allows Inhei to get her daughter and assures her a way to leave the city. Shortly after, the doctors and politicians arrive in Seoul and meet the prime minister and the president. They discuss the possible actions to take concerning the rapid spread of the virus. Then, the Prime Minister declares to lock down Bundong, while Dr. Yang proceeds to inform the people about the virus and its consequences. As a result, the people of Bundong panics. Meanwhile, Enhe tries to get Miru. However, Jigu loses Miru in the supermarket, where there is a crowd of panic buyers. So Enhe and Jigu together search Miru in the crowd, and are able to find her crying in the midst of the crowd. After that, Enhe, having the capacity to leave the city despite the lockdown, tries to ask Jigu to leave with her. However, Jigu refuses, and tells Inhei that he needs to perform his duty as a rescuer. Later, Inhei and Miru are in the airport trying to leave the city. However, Miru is sick, which makes the officers refuse them to leave. Unable to leave, Inhei and Miru are forced to go to the quarantine facility, since the government forces everyone to go to the quarantine facility. On the bus towards the quarantine facility, Inhei calls Dr. Yang, who tells her there is a way to leave the city, she just needs to introduce herself in the quarantine facility as a doctor. While in the call Inhei sees a mother and a child who appears to be a reflection of her and Miru. The reflection portrays the privilege of Inhei over the other people who have the same situation as her. Meanwhile, in the headquarters of the politicians and doctors who handle the pandemic, foreign doctors instruct that in the quarantine facility, people will be tested, and after the result is taken, the infected people will be segregated from the uninfected ones. Dr. Yang tells the foreign doctor that cramming the people in the quarantine facility leads to more infection. On the other side, the politicians disregard and stop Dr. Yang, and proceed to talk about censorship of the internet to stop the spread of rumors. The indifference of the politicians to the suggestions of Dr. Yang, shows the intervention of the political power, and interests of the politicians in times of medical crisis. Later, in the quarantine facility, the staff do not recognize Inhei as a doctor, which makes her and Miru unable to leave. In the testing area, Inhei observes that Miru has the symptoms, which means Miru can be separated from her. To avoid separation, Inhei sneaks Miru from the inspection staff. Later, in the quarantine tent, Inhei hears the scream of a mother being separated from her child, which reflects the possible situation if Miru's sickness gets caught by the staff. Later that day, Jigu offers food to Inhei, where he is able to see Miru is sick. As a result, Jigu questions the actions of Inhei, asserting that people in the uninfected area can be infected by Miru. At this moment, the self-interest of Inhei as a mother, stands over the welfare of other people around her, so she decides to keep Miru. Meanwhile, Masai, who survives the virus and contains the antibody for a possible vaccine, is in the crowded infected zone of the quarantine facility. As the government gives an order to find Masai for his antibody, a soldier finds him in the quarantine facility. After that, the doctors call Inhei to get the possible antibody from Masai. Later, in a medical tent, Inhei successfully extracted the antibody from Masai, which can cure the infection of the virus. Later that day as Inhei tries to sneak Miru from the quarantine facility, the staff tries to find Miru through a number 2066, knowing it is infected. However, Jigu, having concern for Inhei and Miru, presents himself as number 2066. As a result, the staff brings Jigu to the infected zone, instead of Miru. But, Byung Cub comes to Jigu, to let him out of the infected zone with an ID. Meanwhile, Inhei sneaks Miru to the medical tent that keeps Masai. Even though there is no permission, Inhei gets the antibody from the blood of Masai to cure Miru. As Inhei injects the antibody to Miru, the soldiers arrive, trying to open the door to stop Inhei, which puts everything in suspense. Shortly after, the soldiers are able to open the door, and put Inhei to sleep, and Miru is separated from her. After that, in the infected zone, Jigu sees soldiers bring a body of a young girl, and he suspects that it is Miru. Then, on the ground Jigu sees a headband of Miru, 
confirming that the young girl is Miru. Immediately, Jigu follows the soldiers bringing Miru, as he follows them, a large hall with piles of severely sick people appears in front of him. There Jigu sees that even the people who are not dead yet, are already placed in the body bags. Then Jigu proceeds to find Miru and goes upstairs. There Jigu witnesses a gruesome scene, that is, a large crane bringing the pile of bodies towards the center of a big stadium, where the pile of bodies is set on fire. As he witnesses the scene, he is astonished by how gruesome the scene is. Moreover, he feels more desperate when realizing the possibility that the innocent Miru is among the pile of bodies. Meanwhile, Enhei is also in the infected zone, trying to find her daughter Miru. There Enhei sees, once again, a scene that reflects her and Miru, that is, a dying mother and a child. Now, Enhei witnesses the gruesome situation in the infected zone. She gets emotional as she tries to find Miru. At the same time, Jigu, in the pile of bodies, hears the sound of Miru's phone. Then Jigu follows the sound, and finds Miru alive in a body bag and is about to be set on fire. Meanwhile, a young soldier sees her mother in the infected zone. As a result, the young soldier bursts into tears and anger. Then, the young soldier tells the people in the quarantine facility about the gruesome situation in the infected zone, which immediately causes the people to have an uprising against the guards. This causes the doctors to evacuate Masai from the quarantine facility, to preserve the antibody with an ambulance. Then, in the infected zone, Inhei is also getting evacuated together with the doctors, but she refuses to do so, since she needs to find Miru first. However, Byung-woo stabs Masai and Dr. Young, which forces Inhei to evacuate with them. At the same time, Jigu, holding Miru, sees Inhei in the ambulance and tries to chase them. In the end, Jigu fails to chase the ambulance, and as a result, he is trapped in the city together with Miru. In the headquarters, the president and the officials witness the utmost chaos in the city. There, the president tells the officials to wait for the antibody, so they can calm the agitating population. However, as the ambulance arrives in Seoul, Masai dies, which means the antibody is gone. Shortly after, the officials at the headquarters receive the news that the antibody is gone, which forces them to take action on the agitating population of Bundong, who tries to cross the border towards Seoul. The Prime Minister grants permission to shoot the people who try to cross the border. Then, the military fires at the civilians on the border, and as a result, the President bursts into anger at the officials. Meanwhile, Jigu holding Miru is in the midst of the shootout, and Inhei rushes towards the border to get Miru. Then, Jigu brings Miru in cover to help other people, but Miru stops him from leaving. However, Jigu once again, explains to Miru his duty as a rescuer, that is, to help other people. Shortly after, an infected man who knows Miru has an antibody, sees Miru alone. So he brings Miru to a tent, and tries to get an antibody from her. However, Kyung Yubi comes to the tent and sees Miru, and he tries to stop the infected man by pointing a gun. But the infected man is able to fight back, and puts Kyung Yubi to the ground. Shortly after, while searching for Miru, Jigu shows up and fights the infected man to help his friend. Then, in the fight, the infected man is able to strangle Jigu. Immediately, the friend helps Jigu to break free. In the end, Jigu is able to kill the infected man. At the same time, Inhei arrives at the border and talks to the presidents. She tells the president that Miru has a possible antibody, and asks for permission to get Miru. In order to make Inhei get her daughter, the president orders the military to cease fire. However, Schneider, an international officer, proceeds to order the military to kill everyone who tries to cross the border. Shortly after, on the border, Miru and Inhei see each other, and run towards each other. As Miru tries to cross the border, everyone is left in suspense over whether the military is going to shoot Miru, an innocent child. This particular scene is breathtaking and puts everything in slow motion. Then, the captain points a gun at the hesitating soldier, which makes the soldier shoot Miru. But Jigu immediately saves Miru, and Inhei gets shot in the shoulder. In the end, Inhei gets emotional as she hugs Miru. The movie ends with a suspenseful confrontation between the president and Schneider, whereas Schneider orders the American military to bomb the people of Bundong. Then, as a response, the president stands his ground to protect the people of Bundong, and orders the South Korean military to fire missiles at the bombers. This makes Schneider cancel the order to bomb the people of Bundong. In the end, Miru is alive and carries an antibody, which cures the infected citizens of Bundong and ends the pandemic. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Peace out.